Hello, my name is Therese Coleman and I'm a registered nutritionist. Today I'm here to talk to you about whole grain foods. We all know we should be eating five portions of fruit and vegetables a day, but did you know there is another number to remember? And that's three a day for whole grain foods. Whole grain literally means the whole of the grain, where all the different parts make up the grain are kept in the final product. Each little grain is packed with lots of nutrients, like carbohydrates, protein, vitamins, minerals, fibre and antioxidants, all essential for your well-being. Studies show that people who eat about three servings of whole grains a day have lots of health benefits, particularly important for maintaining a healthy heart. Whole grains are also great for anyone who's watching their weight, as they can help you feel fuller for longer, so avoiding that temptation for fattening foods later in the morning. Whole grains also provide fibre, so very good for keeping your digestive system in tip-top shape. So how do you know if a food is whole grain? Well, if a food contains 51% or more whole grain in the ingredients, then it counts as a whole grain food. You might be surprised to hear there really is a great choice of whole grain foods to choose from. So something as simple as a slice of wholemeal bread counts as a serving, half a wholemeal pita bread, two wholemeal tortillas, two oat cakes or two whole grain crackers. Other things include two heaped tablespoons of cooked brown rice or three heaped tablespoons of cooked whole grain pasta. Breakfast cereals also count as whole grain and they can range from anywhere between one to three servings depending on the type of cereal. Some manufacturers will include the serving size on the packets, so you can check the side of the back of pack to find out. One of the ways to find out if food is whole grain is to read the ingredients list on the side of the back of panel. If words like whole grain, whole meal, oatmeal or brown rice appear near the top of the ingredients list, this means that it's whole grain. This is because the predominant ingredients should be whole grain as it needs to make up more than half of the product. Whole grains are very versatile, they're easy to prepare and can be eaten at any time of the day. You will find lots of creative, quick and easy recipes on wholegraingoodness.com. This spicy chicken toasty makes a lovely lunch or a light supper. It's simply made by grilling a chicken breast that's already been coated in spices like cumin or coriander. Once it's cooked, slice your chicken breast and place it on a wholemeal roll or a slice of bread topped with some avocado. Each serving provides one portion of whole grain. Another great Family supper is the roasted vegetable pasta dish. It's made with roasted courgettes, tomatoes, onion and peppers. And leftovers make a great lunchbox filler for the following day. For a simple but tasty family dessert, why not try the oatmeal and raspberry sundae? It's simply made by using fresh or frozen raspberries mixed with some oatmeal, quark and low fat natural yogurt. So as you can see, getting more whole grain into your diet can be pretty easy. Even small amounts of whole grain will give you health benefits. So look for new ways every day to get your family to eat more whole grain. Join me for the next in the series where I'll give you some more ideas for including whole grain into your family diet.